Hi everyone, this is Alberto from Fullview and in this video I will show you three things. How to calculate CSET score, how to build a formula in Excel, and how to interpret the results. So let's start by looking at how we calculate CSET score. So you have a scale that goes from 1 to 5 uh, where you will ask your customers to rate how um, uh, satisfied they are with uh, the interaction with your company or the support they received. So um, you're going to look at the number of users that uh, scored you four or five. So number of satisfied customers over the total number of responses. So in this example, let's say you have uh, one user um, that is unsatisfied, two that are neutral, four that are satisfied, and three that are very satisfied. So you're looking at seven uh, positive responses over a total of 10 responses, so your CSAT score is 70. If you want to build this into an Excel formula, uh, because for instance you are exporting um, all of your uh, survey answers um, in a Google Sheet or in an Excel. Um, what you can do, and by the way, you can have access to this spreadsheet uh, in the comments, so you can take a look at that. Uh, but you can basically build your formula by doing a count if and selecting uh, the range of values and applying the condition that the value needs to be uh, higher than three, uh, divided by count and the same exact range. So in this case, uh, cell D2 shows you 72.7 uh, as uh, your CSET score. The last thing that I want to show you is how to interpret um, uh, this, um, the results. So there are two ways uh, to uh, basically give value to uh, the results of your survey. One is to benchmark uh, versus your previous performance. Uh, so that helps you understand if your team is improving uh, the way uh, they're building customer experiences or if things are getting uh, worse. And the other one is relative to industry benchmarks, how your company uh, is performing. So you could be um, improving a lot, but might, might still be uh, below your competitors or the other way around. So you may not have had the best uh, trend in terms of uh, uh, customer satisfaction, uh, but you're still ahead of your competitors. So just to give you an example, here you can see for e-commerce or SaaS companies, uh, the benchmark is uh, 77. So you would need to be, um, you know, a little bit careful because every uh, sub-industry is different and there are also differences in terms of geography. But this is a starting point that you can consider. If your CSET score is, for instance, uh, 65 and your uh, e-commerce business, then probably uh, things aren't looking too good and you may want to invest more into uh, your customer experience strategy. I hope this was helpful. Um, this is uh, one of the uh, many videos we're rolling out to help the customer support, the customer success, and the customer experience community. So any feedback is uh, well appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video.